Just 30 minutes after the disaster at the Briarwood Country Club, patients began arriving at both Billings hospitals. The estimated number is nearly 50 that were injured in the incident, but fortunately both hospitals say they were up to the task. Like it was just brutal, like, and it was just kind of chaos. Michael Garcia never expected to be spending his Sunday here in a hospital bed at Billings Clinic. But what was a fun weekend golfing turned into pure chaos in the blink of an eye. I heard something. Um, it sounded like breaking wood and then we were on the ground. Garcia was one of the dozens standing on this deck at the Briarwood Country Club Saturday evening when it collapsed. I tried to get up and I couldn't move so then I just laid back down and it was wild. It, uh, you know, when you're on the ground I was more concerned just about my wife and a lot of my friends that are just right there hurt. It's a scene first responders say was a mass casualty incident. Ambulance after ambulance began to arrive, rushing Garcia, his wife, and many others to Billings' two hospitals. These sort of things are always sort of organized chaos, but uh, I mean, that's why we plan for them. That's why we drill this incessantly. Billings Clinic Trauma Director Michael Engelhart says the team here was ready, initiating emergency protocol to make sure patients were receiving proper care. That helps us triage who needs to go where first uh, and who the sickest ones are uh, so we can be ready. And it was a similar story at St. Vincent's Healthcare. Both hospitals called in staff and initiated protocols often practiced but rarely needed. It was stressful but um, things got done quickly and there were some significant injuries that were triaged appropriately and, and got to where they needed to be pretty quickly. Garcia ended up with a broken pelvis and tailbone and is prepping for surgery on Monday. Despite that, he's still grateful that this scary situation wasn't worse. Just concerned, you know, just that like I said I just fell 12 feet, 14 feet with 40 of my friends, you know. And it just seemed like everybody was, everything just ran really smoothly and I think that's huge. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.